All right, so you just got this stuff. I'm gonna see how it goes. Uh, I'll do my best to do my best. So this is what mine looks like. It's uh, getting torn. I already put some backing stuff in, just shoved it under. Um, yeah, it's got a few few areas of uh, could be better before it gets worse. I don't want it getting worse, so I'm already gonna just try and fix it up now. So this is what it's looking like. The next step is to whoop, get this stuff, vinyl adhesive, and you pretty much just pack it all in there. You just pack it all. So you're supposed to wash it with non-soapy water, or non-soapy soap. <laughs> I got my first aid kit out, I'm gonna use an alcohol wipe just to clean it all as best I can. So I don't know how well this will work. Obviously it's a fairly dirty seat, so it's probably a good idea that I'm using something to clean it. So yeah, just get it in there and clean to the best of your abilities around the area that you're going to be trying to repair. So mine's pretty much just that area there and that area there. The rest is looking pretty good. Uh, I might try and put a bit of filler there too. It's annoying that I got all these holes in the seat because I've got air-conditioned seats. But uh, yeah, it might be a little little uglier once it's been fixed. I accidentally ripped the second one, so I may as well use it. Get it back here, you. So now, I just mixed this up a little bit. Just uh, stirred it a little. So you just want to like pack it in there and really fill it up as best you can. So yeah, just try and Try not to get it like go over a bit. Try to just fill the gap. Because all you want to do is repair the damage. You don't want to make it everywhere else. So just try to fill the bits that are needing it. Get out of hand. Alright, so that is done. Filled all the little cracks and stuff. As you can see, those ones are starting to split. Uh, I think I'm probably just going to drill those holes out afterwards. Uh, hopefully it'll work as I want it to, or maybe I could just poke it through with like a little, I don't know, scalpel or something. Yeah, but we'll see. But you can see they're starting to rip. There's only like one in there that isn't starting to rip. I think the seat's too high when my partner gets in, and that's what's starting to tear them. This one's fairly large, so I think I'm going to try and texture it with this. And um, I'll just, just tear it off. And I'm just going to push that down onto it, and then give it the 24 hours. And hopefully that texture will... We'll breathe. We'll be in there. Alright, so I'll let that sit for 24 hours and then I'll peel that off and see how it's all going underneath. Yeah, it looks like there's plenty enough in there. Just didn't, didn't want to push it down and have like a little divot where the crack is. Alright, now I'll just leave that be and see in 24 hours. So a little update on how this is going. Um, so this is the one right here that I had this over and it all it does is create like a skin on the top side and then it's hollow underneath. So that's kind of shitty because it makes it super thin skin and um, these ones here they had still like a decent like divot in it so you can see that it's not too bad now it's like just a little bit like almost like a fingernail's worth. This is the second time I filled it up though so I'm going to keep adding little extra bits until it uh until it's level and then I might try and get rid of all the shiny bits because I'm pretty sure you can literally just like if you keep rubbing it and it like warms up from rubbing it starts like like you know peeling off so I, I tried not to get it on the actual on the uh, the actual base you know the actual seat but it's, it's pretty tricky yeah so all you have to do to get rid of the shininess is like literally just like lick your finger to make it like a little bit moist and then just keep rubbing it I can already feel it like rolling up a bit. See all that? It's rolling up and just get rid of it all. See there was shininess there and now there's not that little bit there. Obviously you just keep rubbing until there's no more little bitties but yeah that's pretty much it. I'm going to wait for all that to dry though because I don't want to get little bits inside the, the gluing bits. Also it kind of seems like this is just like PVA glue. I don't know if it is but just a uh, food for thought. If you want to do this on the extra extra cheap Maybe just try PVA. Because you only really want to cover that one little bit, right? You only want to fill the hole. You don't want to get it all over. What I did was I used a really sharp knife and just like just coasted over the leather just to just sawing it to just get that top layer of glue off this bit here. 
and I'll do the same for all these little bits just so it's like perfectly flush like this one so when when I paint it it's going to be smooth because like this you can you can feel a little bit of a lump that's perfectly smooth like if I had my eyes closed I couldn't even feel that but yeah I'm just going to do that to all of them just to keep them all totally smooth and then I'll paint it all right so this is how it turned out you can still see there's something going on but it looks a lot better than it did and it's pretty much the same color if I turn the flashlight off it looks a little bit better but yeah it's still it's not perfect but um, from a bit of a distance it's not too noticeable similar color anyway but um yeah so if you do put holes in it I suggest waiting a little bit of time before you put the holes in it because otherwise the glue kind of isn't fully hardened and uh, yeah it like yeah I still probably need to do it a little bit deeper there a bit more a little, a little extra and yeah it could it could definitely be better it doesn't look perfect but it looks better than it was and the rips aren't getting bigger which is the most important thing so uh, yeah if this helps your decision on if you want to do it yourself or get it professionally done or anything uh, hope it helps and yeah feel free to like subscribe and all that